A very wise man once said, heavy is the head that eats the crayons. Today, I'm going to be talking about the FCC going after people for breaking the rules by doing things like talking on GMRS channels with a Baofeng UV5R or people talking on ham or GMRS frequencies without the proper license. We've all heard the stories. They go something like this. If you transmit on ham or GMRS frequencies without the proper license, the FCC will triangulate your location and give you a $10,000 fine. Or if you use the incorrect radio, like the humble Baofeng UV5R, which is a ham radio, if you use the incorrect type of radio to transmit on GMRS frequencies, the FCC will hunt you down and put you in jail. You can find these stories anywhere on the internet, any online forum about ham or GMRS. Just search Google for what will happen if I transmit on ham without a license and you'll see the stories. But telling these stories is like telling a 12 year old boy that if he doesn't stop what he's doing, he'll grow hair on his palms. Well, guess what? I got no hair on my palms. I've mentioned these stories many times in previous videos. And of course, me being the polite gentleman that I am, I've never come right out and said that these are lies and bullshit. I wouldn't do that. But I have explained multiple times that every time the FCC does an enforcement, every time they put someone in jail or fine them, shoot their dog or execute them, they are required, the FCC is required to make that enforcement public. As a matter of fact, they have a database, the FCC enforcement database, that anyone can search on the internet to see exactly who has gotten in trouble by the FCC and for what. And if you search this public FCC enforcement database, you will find that, I'm going to refer to my notes so I don't make any mistakes, you will find that the FCC has never gone after anyone for simply using a non-GMRS radio, like the humble Baofeng UV5R on GMRS frequencies, and they have never gone after anyone for simply talking on ham radio frequencies or GMRS frequencies without the proper license. And every single time I say any of these things on one of my videos, all of the YouTube comment experts, we know that they're experts because they almost always start their comment by saying, I've been a ham radio operator for 20 years. That's not me saying it. That's what they say. So we know that everything they say must be true and correct. And they repeatedly bring up the same two cases to prove their case, their story, to prove their boogeyman stories, that the FCC indeed does go after people talking on ham or GMRS without the proper license or using the wrong type of radio on GMRS. Now allow me to recap what I just said so that we can be sure that everyone is following along because I hate having to delete all the stupid comments from the morons that aren't actually paying attention. So I will recap and I will say it more slowly this time. I have stated many times in many videos that the FCC does not, or at least has not to date in the past ever gone after someone for simply talking on ham or GMRS frequencies with no license or simply using the wrong type of radio, for example, a UV5R on GMRS frequencies. And then the YouTube comment experts come along and to prove that I'm wrong, they cite two cases where the FCC has indeed gone after someone for simply using the wrong radio or talking on ham or GMRS frequencies without a license. And to prove their points, sometimes they even go so far as to leave links to the FCC database to these two particular cases to which they are referring for all of us to read, proving that the FCC does indeed go after people for simply talking without a license on their radio to their friends or using the wrong type of radio on GMRS. Now, of course, these people, as I stated, they are YouTube comment experts. So of course we should just believe everything they say, but allow me to recap what these two cases are. The first is the case of the FCC versus Mr. Kevin Bondi. Bondi of Encino, California, and the case of the FCC ver I'm looking at my notes. The FCC versus Mr. Fabrice Polonese, Polonese, Polonese of North Miami, Florida. These are the cases that get cited by the YouTube comment experts multiple times 
as being proof that the FCC goes after people that are simply not using a, the proper license on ham or GMRS or using the wrong radio. Two cases out of all the millions of people probably that do this all the time, two cases in the last 20 years. So what exactly did these two people, Mr. Kevin Bondi of Encino, California, and Mr. Fabrice Polonese, Polonese? Polonese? Polonese of North Miami, Florida, what did they actually do? Allow me to start with the case of the FCC versus Mr. Kevin Bondi of Encino, California, right down the street from me. I am reading from my notes so as not to make any mistakes and rile up the YouTube experts who just love to come and leave comments anytime anyone on YouTube makes the tiniest of mistake. Starting in 2009, that is the year 2009, Mr. Bondi was accused of intentionally interfering with a business licensee and intentionally and continually jamming their channel so they could not use it. A business licensee is someone who pays money to the FCC to set aside a frequency that they can use to conduct their business. And in 2011, that's a couple of years after the initial complaints and after many mean letters from the FCC, the FCC issued a $24,000 fine to Mr. Kevin Bondi of Encino, California. Now, as of 2021, I don't think Mr. Bondi has still not paid a penny to the FCC, but that doesn't matter. Maybe he did, maybe he hasn't, I don't know. I don't care. Someone's gonna leave a comment and give us the full legal rundown. It doesn't matter. The point is he was doing a little more than simply talking to his friends without a ham license or a GMRS license or using the wrong type of radio on GMRS. The other case often cited as proof that the FCC will indeed go after people who use the wrong type of radio on GMRS or don't have their GMRS or ham radio license and are talking to their friends. The other case is the curious case of Mr. Fabrice Polonese. Polonese? Polonese. And the quick summary of what Mr. Polonese, Polonese? Of what Mr. Fabrice was doing in 2012, after having operated a pirate radio station, pirate radio station, in his backyard for several years and after several contacts and many mean letters from the FCC, the FCC finally got a warrant and seized all of his pirate radio station equipment. Pretty much as soon as the FCC vans drove away, he got more pirate radio equipment and started his pirate radio station right back up. Blah, 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 more letters, more enforcement. And a few years later, many years later, the FCC finally issued a very large fine to Mr. Polonese, Polonese of Florida. And Mr. Polonese has ignored all those fines. I believe that as of 2021, he has still not paid a penny in fines. And I also believe, I understand, that he is still running his pirate radio station out of North Miami, Florida. I could be wrong. All of the self-appointed YouTube legal experts will clarify in the comments for us, but it doesn't matter because Mr. Polonese was also doing a little bit more than just talking to his friends without a license or using the wrong type of radio on GMRS, which is what all of the self-proclaimed YouTube legal radio experts claimed. Remember, the boogeyman story says that if you use the wrong type of radio on GMRS, like a UV5R, or if you talk on GMRS or ham radio without a license, the boogeyman will come and get you. In neither of the cases cited by those same experts is that what happened. Not even close. I don't even think they read the actual complaints from the FCC. So for anyone still not following along, what it means is all these stories that we've heard so many times about what the FCC will do or simply talking to your friends without the proper license or using the wrong radio, all of these stories are bullshit. The FCC, based on their previous history, which is available to the public on the internet in their enforcement database, based on their previous history, the FCC does not care about this type of thing. The FCC has much more important things to do, like stopping all those robocallers that everybody gets all the time. Great job, FCC. Now, I am not advocating that we all go out and break the rules. I'm not advocating that anyone break the rules. Rules are what separates us from the savages. We should all follow the rules. It's the right thing to do. What I am advocating is that some people, some people stop telling all these bullshit stories because 
their lies. And honestly, I'm tired of deleting these stupid comments from my channel. If you have an example of someone getting into trouble by the FCC for simply not using a license or talking to their friends on GMRS with the wrong type of radio or without a license, leave a comment below. But be sure to leave a link to the source of your information because without a valid source, we know you're just making up another boogeyman story. If you have questions about these cases, leave a comment below. I'm not a lawyer, so I won't answer them, but don't worry. A YouTube comment expert will come along and be happy to make up more lies and answer them for you. Thank you.